morning fans. We are in some kind of metro station in Hangzhou. We had to get the metro because apparently no taxi drivers ever want to take you however much you ask them to. So they just sort of say no when you tell them where you want to go, which is annoying. Uh, you're just over here, just waiting for for the train to come and then we're going over to the lake where we're probably going to get some food because we ended up basically eating crackers uh, and crackers yesterday um, because we, it was too late we couldn't be bothered to find somewhere to go and eat. So we've just got into town and we're having some breakfast at this little cafe which is so gorgeous. Look around. Mm. So I've gone for Lapsang Souchong tea and I've got loads more hot water to top it up with and Tom's gone for a cappuccino and we've got some eggs coming and bits and bobs in a minute because we both haven't eaten in days so um, we wanted something a bit more friendly for our first meal <laughs> and then we might have some Chinese food um, for dinner this evening I think because there is a really nice old street and after this we're going to the lake so we're on Qinghefang Old Street which is a really famous part of Hangzhou and I just wanted to show you these which remind me of when I was a kid we used to get them at the British Club so I'll definitely be going back for one later and they're like boiled sweet candies that are pulled into a shape and they're so delicious he makes them to order. Well, he used to when we were little. Um, so if we can, I'm going to go back and get one later. Make Tom try a bit so he can know a bit more of what I'm talking about. But it's the weirdest thing because just before we spotted him, I was telling Tom that story and then we spotted him and it was the weirdest thing ever. We're making traditional Chinese dessert. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I think he's making it into a flower shape, which I've never seen before. Oh my god, it looks incredible. Look at that. <gasps> so cool. He's putting some blue sugar in now. And this is Long Bridge, also known as, I believe, Shangpu Bridge, which means literally double suicide bridge. Oh, <laughs> and because apparently two people committed suicide here, which is lovely. And lotus flowers sprouted up where they drowned. That's a nice cheery thought for y'all. Yeah, we're basically just wending our way around, having a look, um, hopefully in the direction of the pagodas and temple we want to visit later, but who knows where we are, really. <laughs> so these are the remains of the old pagoda. We're at Leifeng Pagoda, by the way, um, and we're literally under the new pagoda, and you can just see some of the remnants. People have put money all the way along, which is really pretty. We're just going to have a walk around. This is a better view of it from here. So this is the interior of the pagoda, and these are the stone columns that would have risen up around it. You can see the money that people have thrown in that we just showed you down here. We are now in Jing Shi Temple. 
or in the temple area. Just looking at all the different sites. Tom's just zipping up my backpack. <laughs> Putting the China book back inside. We had to check the name of this temple. She's not good of us. And look at this beautiful old bell. An offering of flowers below it. Is it? It's Chinese symbols all on the inside, which I don't think you can see. Beautiful. And this is the view from the window of Laifeng Pagoda, where we were just at. We're now walking into the Hall of Ji Gong, and that statue is of Dao Ji, famous Chan Master, I think it's called. Now this temple was reconstructed this year, it was destroyed in a fire in 1932. So we're just sitting and having an ice cream in the square here, into the lake, and we're about to go for dinner. I'm just watching these people play with their little parachute toys. Really cool, some of them are going so high. There's loads of them. There used to be about 20. People just keep throwing them, sometimes they're complete fails, but some of them are really good. I just wanted to take a video of Tom's amazing looking sizzling beef. Literally looks so good. Go on then, have your first mouth. Mouthful. <laughs> Mouthful. Does look a bit hot actually. to start. Might update you later when it's cooled down a bit. <laughs> we've also got some spring rolls here. I'm not sure what they've got in them, but Tom will find out for me. I think we've got some peanuts. Yeah, I know, me too. But never mind. <laughs> If it wasn't burning you, what would you say? It is nice. Good. <laughs> it's like Chinese style gravy with mm. that sort of consistency. Mm. And this is my one that Tom's going to share. I think there might be a little bit of meat in there, but by and large, it is stir fried cauliflower. Um, and it looks good. We're just waiting for some rice. Update on these bad boys. Tofu, everybody. So Tom has very kindly let me have the third and final one because I never get spring rolls and because apparently my meal's not big enough, which is what we thought, but it's actually bigger than his. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. 